This is Beckett Franklin, eight years old, second grade, and this is how Beckett says he feels after a few hours of virtual school. It made it f my brain feel like it was was melting, like it just wasn't working right. For months, Beckett and his brothers tried to power through. Then, like a growing number of families, they gave up on the system and struck out on their own. It really was apparent from the beginning that we should go after an in-person experience if possible. Nearly one in five children have switched schools since the pandemic began, according to polling by EdChoice. About half of them went from public school to home school. For Beckett and his brothers, that meant a pandemic pod. The classroom is their basement. The other students are their neighbors. Their teacher is live, in person, and part of their COVID bubble. If I w could watch a documentary on TV and, you know, you ask me at two weeks from now, what was that documentary about? I said, gosh, I don't know. I was so passive about the whole thing. And it really hit me that that was what goes on on Zoom. When you go into these pod learning settings, you don't have that option anymore. We're active. Of course, custom learning comes at a cost, an average of $14,000 per student. The company that set up the pod, Schoolhouse, works with hundreds of kids and dozens of teachers, and its founder said business is booming. We already have pods that have renewed for fall 2021. So although we started and I think got a lot of momentum from the COVID pandemic, we really are built for the long term. Now, Beckett's oldest brother is in middle school and does want to go back once COVID is over. His second brother could go either way, but Beckett might stick with the pod. So, Shep, this could just be one more way the pandemic is permanently changing our lives. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.